welcome back. Day two of anxiety week. I don't know if that's something exciting or not because two days of anxiety doesn't sound fun, but it's all about figuring out how to help our anxiety. So that's fun. Okay, guys, let's first check in. How you guys feeling? Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs somewhere in the middle. Scale of one to 10, how are you feeling today? I guess I am like at a seven. Um, getting a lot of jobs done, getting tasks complete, which is always nice. Um, feeling a little less stressed about some things because some things are over, some things are um, have gotten good reports on, so. Overall, things are looking up. So remember yesterday we talked about what anxiety is. And remember, anxiety is your body's way of sending you a message. It's telling you you need to be prepared for something. Something that you either need to be prepared to defend yourself because maybe some something bad's going to happen to you or maybe you need to run away from something because something's coming. Um, Remember, it's just your body telling you something's not right. Ranger. Sorry, my neighbor keeps like starting his motorcycle and every time Granger has to let me know the motorcycle's starting up because his anxiety tells him something scary is happening. So remember, when your messenger is getting overwhelmed by something you can't control, you're having anxiety over something you can't do anything about. That is when we need to figure out some way of calming that messenger down. Telling their, that messenger, okay, I heard you, I get it, but let's focus on something else. And so for the trick I'm gonna teach you guys today, it's something really easy and it's really good if you know your alphabet or you're learning your alphabet, this can be a good way of refocusing that messenger, getting them to think about something else rather than whatever it's stressed about, whatever it's giving you anxiety. So for example, if I have a test I have to take, I'm really nervous about that test, but I have studied, I have done everything that I could do and it's still making me nervous. I'm gonna trick my brain to reduce that anxiety message by picking a subject that I know a fair amount about. For me, this example is gonna be animals. And then I am going to say the alphabet, but I'm going to pick an animal for each letter in the alphabet. So for example, for A, I could say anteater, B, bat, C, camel, D, dog, E, elephant, F, frog, G, goat, H, hair, like a rabbit, and you keep going all the way through the alphabet because that is going to slow your brain's messenger down and make it realize that whatever that thing is that's giving you anxiety, it's not that big a deal. We can relax a little bit. We can be prepared, but we don't need to be over prepared. Okay, so really quick, just an ABC focus on something else and try to pick a topic that makes you excited. Because if you're thinking about something you enjoy, that's like a double whammy for your anxiety. Because you're thinking about something different and you're thinking about something that makes you happy. And it's hard to have a lot of anxiety when you're thinking about happy thoughts. So some examples, just if you're trying to brainstorm, you could do animals like I did. You could do books if you love to read. You could do sports or like ideas with sports, ball, well, A, ooh, what would be an A for a sport? Maybe like a team? I don't really know sports. I don't know. I can't even think of a sports team that would be A. Don't tell me. Atlanta, Fal Atlanta Falcons? Isn't that a... Whatever. Anyways, sports, um, superheroes. You could do um, movies, TV shows, things that you see around the house. Let's see, A, animal, 
B, book. C, chair. See? It's just something to stop your messenger from going so far. Okay, that is our cool trick for today. Try it out if you're feeling some anxiety. Let me know in the comments what category you picked. And if you got all the way through the alphabet, I'll try to keep doing animals. I, iguana. Okay, guys, get ready for a high five in three, two, one. Have a great, terrific Tuesday, guys. Thank you.